After returning from the mission, I had never been back to Argentina for 38 years. Came home, as you say, went to school, married, had the family, had my career in law, and, and uh, never had occasion at all to go back there. And my first return trip was with Elder Russell M. Nelson, now President Russell M. Nelson, for a multi-state conference in Buenos Aires. The, the woman that was translating for my wife in that conference was a little girl when I knocked on her family's door and taught them the gospel. So it was wonderful to begin to, to renew acquaintances and, and live vicariously some experiences again that had happened while I was there as a missionary. And so that was, you know, I thought when I left, I've done something worthwhile and probably never see this place again, but, but it was a, a maturing and a, a really rich experience for me. Now, uh, I think of coming back these years later, um, having been at the dedication of the first chapel, now to be there for the dedication of the temple. As I say, I wish I had greater faith and foresight to have seen that moment back in those days, but you know, what, a, what a wonderful thing to live long enough to, uh, to see that transition and the, the progress of the Lord's kingdom, all day to day invisible to us. I mean, we don't see what's happening, but looking back, see a tremendous miracle has occurred. And it just says to me, again, it's the Lord's work. He's making it happen. He's doing the work for the most part. We get to help around the edges. <laughs> ¶¶